if you're an older mineral owner, I want to give you four things to consider as you think about your mineral rights and your future plans for your life and who you want to leave your minerals to and what you want to do with them. And I'm not trying to pressure you to sell your minerals. I just want you to consider these four things. And this is coming from the various mineral owners that I purchase minerals from or who have asked me for an offer on their minerals. And I've learned a lot from these different experiences. So I want to share two stories with you. They're two very different mineral owners, and both of them are a little bit older women who have taken different approaches to their estate. One of them decided to sell her mineral rights because she had minerals in states other than the state that she was living in. She had inherited them. I think in both cases, they had inherited them from their grandfathers who were in the oil and gas industry. And that's how they ended up with minerals in other states. So one of them decided that she doesn't want to, her heirs just weren't that interested in it. And she didn't want to have them have to open up probate in multiple states. And she just wanted to leave things all tidy and wrapped up for them. And the other one passed away and she left everything to her husband with her daughter as the personal representative. So her husband's in his 90s and she passed away two years ago and they're still trying to get the, the probate wrapped up. One of the options is to transfer the minerals to the father but he's in his 90s, and so he's not likely to live a really long time, and she's going to have to open probate to take care of his assets later, and if she transfers the minerals to him, she's gonna have to do it all over again and transfer the minerals to her. So together, they were thinking that maybe the best thing to do is just to sell the minerals at this point, because they aren't really worth very much, and it's going to cost more to do this double mineral transfer than it, the minerals are even worth. So they made the choice together to sell and they asked me for an offer. But the problem is she, the mother owns mineral rights. I guess they're owned by the estate now, but they're in multiple states. And so the daughter who is the personal representative, she can't actually sell those minerals or transfer them until she opens an ancillary probate in those other states. And that's turning out to be a real pain and it's expensive and she cannot sell real property without being recognized as um, having the authority to do it in those states. And so, you know, I think she wishes that her mom had taken care of this differently, not necessarily sold the minerals, but maybe got some legal advice or um, you know, put them in an LLC or something because it's been years that she's been working on this probate now and the minerals are all that's left. So I have four things for you to think about. And at the end, I will tell you what I think the best plan is. And it's not necessarily to sell your minerals. I mean, if you wanna do that, I'm happy to give you an offer or to look and see what you have and potentially give you an offer but um, there's another way to handle this as well. But first, let's go through these four things. The first thing to consider is if you own property in multiple states, your heirs are going to have to open an ancillary probate in probably all of the states. Every state has different laws and they may have to hire an attorney in that state as well as the, the probate attorney that's handling your estate. And it could just be a complicated, drawn out, expensive process. So just think about that. The second one is to think about your long-term care plans. If you think you may need long-term care in the future, then you may wanna consider the different kinds of property and what you own that will be considered when you're looking at your financial obligations for that long-term care. For example, if you own mineral rights, you're going to have to tell them what you own. And sometimes people don't really understand fully what they own. You may have to have a professional valuation. That can be kind of expensive, can be time consuming. If you're gonna go into a long-term care facility, you may wanna consider either 
deeding the minerals to whoever your heirs are going to be and doing it early, or perhaps selling the minerals, but doing it at least five years before you go into a facility, so it doesn't count against you. Another thing to consider is transferring ownership multiple times. If you pass away and your spouse is still alive, then if you've left all of your property and your minerals to them, then it's an extra expense of transferring the mineral rights to your spouse. And you know maybe they'll live for a long time, hopefully. And, but if they don't, you kind of have that extra expense of transferring the minerals again to the heirs. So of course, you can avoid this by transferring them early, or um, we'll talk about this later in the video, but um, putting them into an LLC or a family partnership, something like that. The fourth thing to consider is that sometimes people wait too long to sell their minerals. And I know everybody says never sell your minerals, but the reality is that oil and gas is a finite resource. And once you've extracted all the oil and gas from the property, there's not a lot of value there. So if you do want to sell it, you need to sell while you still have a reasonable royalty check. Because once it gets too small, there's a lot of buyers who will not go in, who will not incur the time and expense associated with buying those minerals. It's very expensive to spend all the time researching to see what somebody has and make an offer and draft a purchase and sale agreement and the mineral deeds and, and then recording the deeds in all the different counties. Um, that process alone can be more than the minerals are worth. So you want to sell before you get to that point um, if you're going to sell your minerals. So these are four things to look out for if you're a bit older and you're trying to consider what you want to do with your estate, especially your mineral rights. Avoiding ancillary probate, um, selling before the value is too low, thinking about your long-term care facility needs and trying to minimize the number of times that the minerals are transferred and the expense associated with that are all things to consider. You can transfer the mineral rights to your heirs early. You can sell them. There are lots of mineral buyers. In fact, if you want an offer from me, I will be happy to look and see what you have and potentially give you an offer. And then there's another idea, which is to put them in an LLC, a limited liability company, or into a family limited partnership. And by doing that, you avoid all of these problems, except maybe the, the waiting too long to sell issue. So you can find an attorney to advise you and put together the exact solution that you need for your family and your situation. And if you do want an offer on your minerals, then go to bluemesaminerals.com and you can request an offer and I'll be happy to take a look at what you have.